So I think that we can all agree that the two most important and influential bases of all time are the Fender Precision Bass, also known as the P Bass, and the Fender Jazz Bass, also known as the J Bass. Now, don't get me wrong, there are a slew of more modern style active basses available. And there, you know, there's the old classic basses like the Rickenbacker and the Music Man Stingray. But broadly speaking, the P bass and the J bass, in terms of influence of design, influence of sound, and the use within the, you know, the music industry are the undoubtable giants. Now, even though they were both designed by Leo Fender many, many years ago, and are still made by Fender today and played by millions of bass players around the world, they're actually very different basses. You know, the DNA is different in both terms feel and sound. So, you know, if you could only have one, and I know it's hard to say, but if you could only have one, which one would it be? In this video, we are gonna be taking a look at the bonuses and drawbacks of both the jazz and precision bass, the specific differences between the two, how you can decide which one would be the right bass for you, and I'll be showing which is my favorite of the J and P, and specifically why it's my favorite. Ooh, and I'm actually gonna tell you exactly how you can win one of these basses, a 1965 original Fender P and a 1966 Fender Jazz. Now, before we get into this video, I also wanted to give you a quick shout and let you know that we are doing a massive giveaway over at scottsbassessons.com right now. And we're giving away these two amazing instruments that will be featured through this video. This is an original 1966 Fender Jazz Bass, and this is an original 65 P Bass. And we're giving away these basses, plus another bunch of awesome prizes that all rounds up to around $30,000 worth of nerdy bass gear for our summer vintage bass giveaway extravaganza. It is totally free to enter, so I've put a link in the description so that you can shoot over to the site and throw your name in the hat and hopefully win one of these bad boys. So first let's do a little bit of a quick history so you know where these basses actually come from and how they originated. Now this is obviously the precision bass and it came first and it was brought to market in 1951 and it was the first electric bass to really earn widespread attention and use. Now the early 50s model of the P bass had a slab body and then in 1954, the contours, which are these things here, and the belly cut, that's when they were introduced. Simply because the thing was so uncomfortable to play when it was a slab body. Now originally the P bass also had a slightly different headstock and a slightly different pick guard too, along with just one single coil pickup. But in 1957, there was a slight redesign and the P bass that you still see today was born. Seriously, the P bass design has pretty much gone untouched since 1957. Same body shape, same pickup, same awesome vibe, and in my opinion, perfect in every single way. Now in 1960, the Fender Jazz Bass arrived on the scene. The body shape had been adapted from the Fender Jazzmaster guitar, and instead of the split P Bass humbucker pickup, the Jazz Bass actually had two single coil pickups, originally with stacked volume and tone controls, but then in late 1961, they were actually swapped out for the three control setup that we now see today. The other main difference between the P bass and the J bass is that the neck profile and width is very different, but we'll get onto that later in this video. And really that's the short history of both the P and J bass. And somehow the stars aligned and Leo Fender was able to create two of the most influential bass guitars ever designed, and they've gone untouched for the most part since 1961. Now when it comes to choosing between the J and the P bass, luckily they're actually really different instruments in sound, in tone, and the way they feel and play as well. So what I'm going to do is go through all of the main areas of the bass, the body, the neck, 
the pickups and controls and the overall vibe and just show you the differences between the two. Hey guys, super quick. We've actually created a really cool PDF that you can download completely for free and it's actually all about this video, the P bass versus the jazz bass and we've done a really cool kind of like visual representation of all of the stuff that we're going to go through. It's super, super cool. Um, again, it's down in the description below. You can grab it totally for free. Make sure that you grab that after this video. Now, with that said, let's get back to it. So first of all, let's start with the bodies. Although they're slightly different, you know, like fundamentally, they're very similar. This is, or let's, let's start with the J-Base actually. With the J-Base, you can actually see that they're, it's slightly offset, right? But ultimately, it's still got the body contours, we've got the arm contour, we've got the belly cut here. My personal opinion is that the J-Base feels a little smaller on the body. Maybe that's because the, the shape is slightly smaller or maybe that's due to the, uh, the offset shape of the Jazz Bass. But ultimately, it's not really going to affect the way it plays. So for you guys thinking about which one could be right for you, in terms of the body here, you know, not much really to write home about there. It's pretty much standard. Now, when it comes to the necks of these two instruments, material wise, you know, they're both maple um, with rosewood boards. Uh, but really this is where there is a big difference in the J and the P basses. The P basses have a fatter neck, not so much front to back, but it's the width down at the nut here that is really different. And this fundamentally means that you are gonna play a P bass in a different way. There's going to, it's gonna be harder to play uh, certain lines on a P bass because of the physical differences in the neck shape. Now that doesn't mean that a jazz bass is better because I actually love you know, I just love that fat neck. You know, I love the fat neck of a P bass. It's one of the things that I love the most about a P bass is the fat neck, even though it's a little harder to play than the J bass. Now with the J bass neck, as I was saying, it is a lot thinner. So it's going to um, be easier to play some of those faster lines that you might want to play. It's going to be easier to maneuver around, you know. Oh. That said, you know, it's some people don't like the J bass because of this thin neck. So it really depends on what type of player you are and what you're trying to do. Just be aware that it will alter the way that you play. Now the pickups and controls on these basses are another really great defining factor. They sound completely different. This has got these two single coils and this is obviously it's a 65 model. Um, is it 60? Yeah, 66 model this one. And it's got the three con the three controls. So we've got a volume for this pickup, we've got a volume for this pickup, and then we've got the tone there, okay? And it, you, out of this bass, you can just get that. You know, it just sounds. It just sounds like a jazz bass. Now you can, get a really nice neck pickup only. So this is just the neck pickup on it. Okay, that's just the neck pickup. And then you obviously you've got the bridge pickup. Let's just roll that tone off so we can get. <laughs> <laughs> that thing, right? That, you know, that Jack of Astorius sound thing. With the P bass, much simpler, okay? So we've got this um, like split humbuck here. Yeah, split humbucker. Uh, we've got one single volume and we've got a single tone, okay? So the tone control really is all you can do in terms of dialing in different tones. There's three main tones that you can get out of a P bass and then little increments in between, okay? That would be the tone all the way up, which would sound like this. <laughs> 
sounds great. You know, this has also got flat wounds on it, flat wound strings. Then we can go halfway off with the tone control, which is going to sound like this. Okay, then you can go all the way off. Um. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. All the way up? Halfway off? All the way. This is one of the best P basses I've ever, this is the best P bass I've ever played in my life. Side note, I'm gonna weep when we give this bass away. I'm gonna cry. It's uh, not good, it's not a good thing. Let's not talk about it. If you haven't got in the uh, giveaway yet, again, the link is below. You know, oh, I don't wanna give this bass away, just look at it. Well, I don't wanna give either of them away, but jeepers creepers, this bass is so good. Oh, and while you're letting me know which one of those tones was best, right, on this P bass, let me know which do you gravitate towards. I'm, I will be wildly interested to know whether we've got more P bass lovers in the audience or more J bass lovers in the audience. So let me know in the comments which you prefer, and if possible, I'd love to know why. Would you go for a jazz bass or would you go for a P bass? You can't put both. Imagine yourself on a desert island, okay? You can only take one with you. That's the rules. Which one would you take, jazz bass or P bass? Let me know in the comments. Now we've looked at the body, the necks and the pickups and control, but there is one more thing for me that is the most important. And that's actually to do with you not the basses. I'm a firm believer that the bass you play alters the way you play because of its tone and feel. So for instance, when I play a P bass, my playing and vibe is super different to when I'm playing a J bass. So to really decide which bass would be better for you, you've got to look inwards and figure out what kind of bass player you want to be. If you want to have crazy awesome slap chops like Marcus Miller with that awesome scoop tone, or you want to fly up and down the fingerboard cranking out the 16th note finger funk lines like Jacko, then, you know, a J bass style instrument is probably going to be up your street. Now on the flip side, if you want to have a bigger, fatter tone, you know, the bigger, fatter tone of the P bass, and actually enjoy that the precision bass feels more meatier in your hands than a J bass, and as a byproduct, it's actually a little harder to play faster lines on, then the P bass might be for you. Ultimately, these are both amazing, amazing instruments. They, they really are. And if I had to only go with one, if I had to only go with one, for me, it would be the P bass, simply because I absolutely love the fat tone and I enjoy the way it makes me play due to the wider neck and it's, you know, the more physical pushback I get from it. You know, it makes me play simpler lines, which is something sometimes I need. I, you know, on the J bass, I'm kind of razzing around, you know, a little bit too much for me. I just love the way the P bass makes me play. Now, if you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure that you slap that like button down below. And remember, we are giving away both of these basses away at scottsbassessons.com as part of our summer vintage bass giveaway extravaganza, along with $30,000 worth of other bass goodies. And it's totally free to enter. All you need to do is click the link in the description below. It'll take you over to the page so you can sign up for it. And remember, it is totally free to get involved with this. And with that said, obviously, take it easy, and I'll see you in the shed.